I'm Sarah Storelli, on a quest to discover the people behind the cutting edge innovations across industries, to tell the stories that define them far more than their titles. My guest today is Christian Hoff. Well, thanks so much, Christian, for joining me here today on the podcast. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Sarah. Great to see you. Of course. Let's dive in. All right. So my first question for you today is really how has your culture influenced you professionally and or personally? Yeah, I uh, so I'm retired Army and I grew up in an Army family. So that kind of was a big part of uh, kind of my culture growing up. I got into uh, the federal system integrator kind of business out of the Army and uh, been with Amazon six years now. Um, and the leadership principles really is what drew me to, to, to Amazon. It was not on my radar at all. A, you know, a friend of mine uh, told me about the leadership principles and I was like, oh, I have to come here. And so uh, really at the at the end of the day, you know, everything we do is about you know, culture, right? And uh, being in the public sector space, I guess also more importantly, um, that's uh, that's what kind of drives me, again, from that military you know, background, being able to continue to serve in a different way, but supporting, you know, in, in, our, in my case now, the federal the federal government. Well, that's amazing. Well, first off, thank you so much for your service. We yeah. immensely appreciate that. And you're building on top of that a little bit from the Amazon leadership principle perspective, which one is your favorite out of all of them? Uh, I knew you were gonna ask that. So. <laughs> I, I mean, they're all f f phenomenal, and, and it kind of goes cyclically too, right? Depending right. on where w where you are in the year, I would say one uh, are right a lot, and and I think that is one that's probably most misunderstood as well. And it's not that oh well, as a leader, you're always right. It really is about just confirming your beliefs, right, and kind of testing your own beliefs to make sure is that the right. Uh, uh, you know, situation or the right answer, you know, if you will. And so looking at it from different kind of perspectives and kind of testing, pressure testing, uh, different things. So that's, uh, um, I've been, I've been working on that, uh, you know, a bit and, and that's, uh, been, been good. And then another thing that I think is unique with Amazon is the ownership principle, right? We're all, uh, you know, owners and the way you view things and treat things. If you see a problem, you know, it's upon you to kind of run and fix. It doesn't matter where you are, uh, you know, in the organization, if you've been there one year, uh, one day, or, you know, <laughs> or 10 years, right? And, and, and so being able to just, just run with a thought and idea and being empowered uh, to, uh, you know, to do that is, uh, you know, is great. Yeah, that's amazing. I do agree with we are able to have so much runway, you know, for innovation here and to go do and make better really based on customer needs. And so as somewhat of a little bit of a follow up in regards to really your army career, is there anyone in particular who has you know, really influenced you along the way to go help continuously make the world a better place? Yeah, I, I've been really blessed with having some amazing bosses at every company and even in the in the army. And I actually still keep in touch today with my former uh, you know, bosses that I had in the army and other companies that I've been at. And so to me, it's about mentorship yeah. uh, a, a lot. So I've, I've had some great mentors, um, uh, even with inside Amazon, different parts of the company. Again, getting that different kind of viewpoints uh, and kind of help you kind of grow as a person uh, and, you know, and as a leader. That's amazing. Well, we, we all know that uh, generative AI is you know, <laughs> a, a dominant topic these days. And so I'm curious, given your role as you know, director of federal civilian, the, what specific opportunities do you think that generative AI really is providing or will provide for these federal agencies? One of the great things about my role leading the federal civilian team is the diverse nature of our customers that we have uh, across different civilian agencies. And how I see the federal agencies using AI, it's really twofold. One, it's for that citizen services. How can they improve the citizen experience, right, as a taxpayer? Uh, and then also, how can they improve efficiency for their own workforce as well? And so seeing those two different uh, dynamics has been, uh, it, you know, has been great. And being able to kind of help and guide uh, those federal agencies, uh, you know, across the board and, and how they're using them has been really kind of phenomenal. And we're still really early, uh, early days and uh, some really exciting things, uh, you know, that are going on. So it's, it, it's been great to see. 
Now, I know with all the wonderful work that you do with Federal Civilian that you all essentially impact every citizen. So I would love to know from a mission standpoint, which are those different areas that are being impacted for the everyday citizen? Yeah, it's, uh, I've been in this role now for going on three, three years, and it's been the best job really that I've, uh, you know, that I've had. My previous background had all been around DOD and, and, and NATSEC. And when I was asked to take over the Fed Civ team, I was, I was nervous, right? Uh, uh, not having much experience, but uh, um, I learned quickly, right? The diving, you know, diving deep. And it's, I love going to work every day and the missions across all the different agencies, right? And so what, what gets me excited is being able to help the different agencies from transportation, citizen services, uh, to you know, healthcare, uh, veterans, uh, uh, sciences, education, uh, everything across the board for uh, you know energy and environment. So it's a really diverse mix, and, and the things that we're doing, both on the mission side and, and helping across the government, is uh, you know has been really fascinating and uh, great to be a part of. That it is, and building on that, and then really almost in every one of those cases, there is an opportunity for generative AI to influence as well. 100%, absolutely, absolutely, right? So again, you know, helping that citizen and, and also improving uh, kind of efficiencies and what that efficiencies help with that, uh, with the government, it allows them to focus on what is that next thing, right? And, yeah. and uh, inventing and being more kind of disruptive, again, going back to helping that, uh, you know, the, the citizen at the end of the day. Well, that's amazing. I think, is there any one specific mention you could maybe dive a little bit deeper with us into, given I know that we are such a, a mission-based and focused yeah, org? I, yeah, I, uh, thanks for that. I would say, you know, kind of healthcare, right? So from the scientific and some of the things we're doing with HealthLake and, uh, you know, imaging, uh, mm -hmm. using Gen AI now uh, on that is really advancing uh, kind of the healthcare and that patient experience as well. And so things we're doing across uh, the different agencies uh, uh, in, in health and VA has been uh, uh, really personally uh, you know, rewarding for me. Well, that's wonderful. I, after all is said and done, what would you most like to be known for to future generations? Yeah, so um, I'll answer it in two ways. Uh, uh, I, uh, um, I have two daughters, <laughs> and, and so um, I want to be known as a good you know, husband and, and, you know, and father and, and be able to make sure that my daughters have those opportunities uh, to, you know, to be successful. Um, and then professionally, I would say giving back. And so... Uh, helping that next generation of, you know, of leaders. And so I like to spend a lot of time going back to that mentoring. I've had a lot of great mentors. I want to be known for, you know, kind of being a great mentor and, uh, you know, and a leader as well and kind of giving back to that next generation of, of leaders that we have. Well, that's amazing. Well, I would want to thank you so much, not only for being here with me today, but also for your service to our country and still in your day job and really in every facet of your life. So thank you so much for your leadership and really helping bring others up along with you to make the world a better place. Yeah, it's been my privilege and honor. Thank you, Sarah.